Okay, so I want to do a couple of practice problems related to the um, sequences of independent experiments that we talked about last time. And so when I wrote these problems, uh, it was all about Infinity War, right? Uh, Thanos was snapping his fingers. And so let me do a few examples uh, involving Thanos snaps. Okay, so here's the setup. We're going to say that the probability that on a given snap that a person disintegrates is equal to one-third and the probability that they survive is equal to two-thirds. So this is a little bit more generous than Infinity War where basically half of everyone died. Here, you know, a third of everyone uh, dies and two-thirds survive. Okay, and so I can ask questions like what is the probability that exactly two out of the six Guardians of the Galaxy survive? Okay, so um, there are six choose two ways of choosing two guardians, right? And then the probability that exactly two survive is two thirds to the two power, one third to the four power. So six choose two is six times five over two times one, which is 15. Two thirds squared is four ninths. One third to the fourth is one 81. And so I can multiply all these numbers together and I can get 20 over 243, which if you want to compute the decimal is like uh, 0 0.08. Okay. So simple kind of follows on from what we were talking about last time. Let's try something a little bit more complicated. Okay. So let's suppose that I want to compute the probability that it takes at least three snaps to disintegrate um, Black Panther and Black Widow. Okay, so there are lots of events that make up this um, this probability, right? Could take three snaps, could take four snaps, could take eight snaps. A smarter way to decompose this is to write this like one minus the probability that it takes exactly one snap minus the probability that it takes exactly two snaps, right? That's a smart way to do it because now I only have to compute two probabilities and then just look at one minus that, right? So I can further decompose this by saying, well, it's like saying um, one minus the probability that they both go on snap one minus the probability that one goes on snap one and the other goes on snap two and the other possibility is they both go on snap two okay so now i can proceed to compute each of these probabilities right so probability that they both go on snap one is one-third for Black Panther going and one-third for Black Widow going, okay? Again, we assume that these probabilities are independent, and so that means that I can multiply these two probabilities together. The probability that I have one going on one and one on two, right? There are two ways that that can happen, either Panther Widow or Widow Panther. So I have kind of two choose one possibilities. The first person going on one has probability one-third, and the second person surviving one and going on two is two-thirds times one-third, right? So that part is going to be four over 27. And the probability that they both go on two is, well, they both have to survive snap one, and they both have to die on snap two. So this is going to be four over 81. So the overall answer is one minus one third minus four over 27 minus four over 81. And if you cancel out all the fractions, this turns out to be 56 over 81, which is about 0 0.69. Okay. So this is a good way to keep in mind approaching these kinds of problems where you have to um, 
take something that has infinitely many outcomes and swap it around to have just a few easy outcomes to compute. Okay. All right, here's another problem. What is the probability that Thor disintegrates before um, Iron Man? So this requires a little bit of thought, right? There are um, basically three possible outcomes, or three possible events that make up the sample space. So one is kind of like Thor before Iron Man. One is Iron Man before Thor. And one is both at the same time. Okay, so let me solve this problem in two different ways, okay? So one way is basically saying that, okay, I want to compute this probability over here. And I can kind of see by symmetry that this event and this event have to have the same probability. So if I call that um, probability x, right, this has to have probability to x, this has to have probability x. So one thing that I could do is to compute this probability y, that they both go at the same time, and then I could compute x as basically um, 1 minus y over 2, right? That's like how much probability goes into x. And so, so I think that y is a little bit easier to compute, right? So let me do that first. So basically I want to know what is the probability that both go at the same time. Okay, so that means that I have to sum up from i equals 1 to infinity the probability that they both disappear on snap i. Okay, and we kind of looked at this in the previous problem in a little bit. Uh, so that's like saying that the probability that they both disappear on snap i is saying they have to survive all the previous snaps and then they disappear on snap i. So that's like saying that I have two-thirds to the i minus one, and then one-third that they disappear on snap i. Okay, and this is just for one person. I have to square that because I want this to happen for both Thor and Iron Man. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation here. I'll leave this up here. So what I have is um, the sum from i equals 1 to infinity. I can take out this 1 ninth, that's this part, and then I have um, 4 ninths to the i minus 1, right? That's 2 thirds squared. And I can simplify this further to say I have 1 ninth, the sum from i equals 0 to infinity, of 4 ninths to the i. This is our old friend, the sum of the infinite series, so I have 1 ninth times 1 over 1 minus 4 ninths, so I have 1 ninth times 9 over 5, so the answer is 1 fifth for the probability they both go at the same time. So that means that there's 1 fifth probability in the middle, and there's 2 fifths probability left over on either side, so my original answer to the problem is um, 2 fifths. Okay, so this is kind of a little bit of lateral thinking, but let me solve it directly as if I wasn't thinking about it um, as this, these different outcomes, right? These different events. So let's do it directly, right? So this is like saying the probability that Thor before Iron Man is something along the lines of, again, decomposing this into a bunch of events, right? So basically it's like saying Thor um, disintegrates on snap one and Iron Man survives snap one plus the probability that they both survive snap one Thor goes on snap two Iron Man survives snap two, and so on, right? 
So what is the first probability? The first probability is Thor disintegrates on snap one with probability a third. Iron Man survives snap one with probability two thirds. This next probability is that they both survive snap one with probability two thirds. Thor then disintegrates on snap two and Iron Man survives step two, plus dot, dot, dot. And so here I can see that what I have every time is, it's like saying I have a two ninths times one plus two thirds squared plus two thirds to the fourth plus dot, 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 which is the same as two ninths times the infinite sum uh, of four ninths to the i, which we learned on the last slide was something like one over one minus four ninths. So this is two ninths times nine fifths. And we get the same two fifths answer that we directly, that we, we directly get two fifths as opposed to kind of getting it indirectly in the way we solved it the first way. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight to the kinds of ways that you might solve these kinds of combinatorical sequence of independent experiments problems.